light, camera, action. Okay, this is too bright. Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. I'm Ender, I'm a freelance actor on YouTube, I make regular acting videos. The latest ones will always be linked in the description below, so please check them out. Today, we're going to do a different style video. You must be wondering why I'm talking like this. Well, I thought I should create quite a zen atmosphere since the video relates to something zen and something that's very important. Sleep. Right. Okay, let's go away. Today, I decided to do another random video. I mean, this is Freestyle Friday, so start expecting the unexpected, guys. Today, I'm going to teach you five tips and tricks to sleep better so let's get into it okay guys i want to preface this video saying that some of these tips and tricks might work for you and some may not but we're all individual so use it how best it suit you let's get into it okay so number one we have the blinking method i think i read or saw something like this ages ago but I kind of adapted it to me. Um, it's basically when you blink 20 times and you close your eyes and don't, and try your best not to open them after the 20th blink is done. So it goes like this. JK, I'm not a snorer. I mean, my brother says I am, but... No, okay. This technique works. Um, I haven't used it a lot recently, but I did use it a lot when I was in my high school days. And it really did help me because the goal of this method is to tire your eyes out. And doing this, I don't know what pace you're supposed to do it at. I just do it quite quickly, but I know you can slow it down, but that's just a lot of, and that's more effort, but I mean, more effort, more energy, energy drained, sleep quicker, I don't know. I do it at a quite fast pace and it helps me. Yeah, so that's the blink method, number two. Number two is the brain workout. To help sleep better, this is one that I used also quite a lot during my high school days. I mean, <sighs> ill. Um, I think I also got this from a video. It's basically you tiring your brain out. There are two brain workouts that I do. One is rehearsing my multiplications. My multiplications. And number two is the alphabet game. I'm going to start off with number one. So when I was in high school, I would say year seven, year eight, maybe. Um, I wasn't the best at my multiplications. I mean not the worst but i wasn't the best and i think the more times i did this at night because i was in a good sleeper and it just helped me like learn how to learn my times tables and learn how to sleep i know this seems quite childish but i mean it helped me and i passed gcse math so love that for me uh, so that's the first one multiplications and doing that whole business the second one is the alphabet game the alphabet game is it's random, it's very versatile, you can adapt it how you will, but I would just give myself like random things. Like this is quite crazy to think that I do this and I don't know if it's normal or not, but like, I would be like, okay, A to Z. Why am I saying Z? I'm not even American, A to Z, okay? Name, name a girl, name, you have to name a girl with each letter of the alphabet, A, B, C. So A for Amanda, B for um, Beth. A C4 or whatever and then I could do it for the boys and then I could change it up all the time like, I've literally done this so many times I've adapted it sometimes it's like name an instrument starting with A and then go through the whole alphabet it's quite abstract and it's quite different like it's but it's helpful like it really tires my brain out and it helps me go to sleep quicker so that's number two and I recommend doing it if you're bad at your times tables um or if you just want to have fun with yourself like before you go to bed 
Number three is using the night shift on your iPhone. I don't know if you have an iPhone or a Samsung, but personally for me, I have an iPhone. And um, when the clock hits 11 o'clock, I have the night shift up to like four. So what the night shift does, I'm gonna show you like a little demonstration over here. So yeah, so I've set the time and it changes color. So it goes to like a light yellow tone, which just helps me sleep better. I mean, it doesn't hurt my eyes as much and it just creates quite like a peaceful atmosphere. I don't know, but it just makes me feel more rested than I go to sleep. And it, yeah, it really does help like the, because the colors quite, my phone screen isn't like glaring at my eyes. It does help me sleep better. So that's trick number three. Number four is the self care tricks and tips. So there are different types of stuff you can do under the self care category. The first one is using an eye gel. So what I mean by this is you get an eye gel and you massage it into your eyes. And that just, I don't know, it just kind of like makes your eyes feel good and like helps you go to sleep. Other times you can use those sleep mists, but uh, they don't really work. But for a long time, um, or like for like a year when my sister used to live here, she's married now anyways, but she gave me this apple mist, but she lied to me. I think she put water in it or something, but I used to spray it on my bed pillow all the time. And then I would go to sleep and I'd be like, oh my God, this helps me sleep so well now. Oh my God, thank you. But like, it was just water. So like she gave me a placebo, but like my mind tricked me into thinking that this helps me better. So using sleep mist, I mean, they helped me for a while. So you could try using that. I don't think they're expensive. Uh, I think they're like one pound or something. I don't know, I haven't bought one in a long time. But yeah, try buying a sleep mist or like eye gel and make sure when you're using the eye gel to massage all around your eyes and do it like gently so it feels soothing and just helps you feel rested. Like the goal is to feel rested and exhaust yourself to the point where sleep just becomes the only option for you. The last and final tip slash trick is praying. This is quite subjective, especially if you are non-religious or you carry a different religious stance, but praying sometimes helps me sleep and it isn't like the most traditional way to pray, but saying the words why grew, um, sometimes in my head, just like going to sleep, puts me at peace and helps me sleep better. So if you're really just try that, pray while you're going to sleep and it helps. That is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please like and subscribe if you did. Follow me on all my social medias linked in the description below. Also check out my latest acting video. Um, I recreated the most iconic scene from EastEnders, Gilles Benissel. Never watched EastEnders in my life. My sisters used to be obsessed with it. I think they still are. But yeah, check that out. Um, that's the end for me guys i will see you guys very soon stay tuned bye guys